Here is a problem that I made up. Uh, I have a 9 volt battery with an internal resistance of 10 ohms connected to a 22 ohm light bulb. And so in this case, it's a light bulb that's just your normal incandescent light bulb. Uh, it has a resistor in there that just gets really hot. And we're going to assume the resistance doesn't change as the current changes, but that's fine. If the battery stores 3 times 10 to the 5th joules, how long will the light stay on? That's a pretty cool problem. Okay. So the first thing that we need to do is to find the current in this situation. So the light bulb is going to be powered by the battery, but I need to know the current. Once I know the current, I can find the power. Once I find the power, I can find out how long it lasts. That's the idea. So I have a 9 volt battery with a 10 ohm resistor in series with the 22 ohm resistor in series, right, essentially. So I can say the loop rule delta V. I can go around the loop and add up all the voltages. So let's start from here, go across the 9 volt battery. It's 9. 9 volts. And then I'm going to go in the same direction as the current. So right here I'm going to get a voltage drop of minus 10 I. Now I'm going to come down here. I'm still going in the same direction as the current. I get minus 22 I. And then I get back to where I was, so I have to be at 0 volts. Now I can solve that equation for I. I have 9 minus 32 I equals 0. 32 I equals 9. I equals 9 over 32. So the current would be 9, 32 divided by 0.28. Now, notice that if you don't take into account the internal resistance, then you're going to have a higher current because you're just going to say 9 volt divided by 22 instead of 32. But since it has an internal resistance, the uh, lower the resistance that you hook it up to, the higher the voltage drop across the battery. And that's because it's a real battery. And I didn't draw it as a 9 volt battery. You know, they're normally square, but it's fine. Okay, now I know the current. So I can calculate the power. Let's calculate the power. Remember, power is I times V, but the voltage across that resistance is V times, is I times R. So this is going to be I times I times R, or I squared R. So the power is going to be I, 0 0.28 squared times the resistance of 22. Let's calculate that. So that, that squared, no, squared, and then 22 times. I get 1.74 watts. How long will it last? Well, remember, Power is the rate of change of energy. And so I know how much energy I have. I wrote this as U because it's like a potential energy. 3 times 10 to the 5th. I know power. I just want to solve for the time interval. So if I multiply both sides by the time interval, divide both sides by the power, I get delta T is delta E over P. And the power, a watt, is a joule per second. So this is going to be equal to the energy, 3 times 10 to the 5th joules divided by the power 1.74. I'm going to write this as joules per second just so you can see. The joules cancel and I'm going to get the answer in seconds. So 3, I'm going to drop that, 3 times 10 to the fifth, 1.74 divided by. And I get, oh I get a big number, 1.72 times, am I running out of room? No. Times 10, 10, 2, 4, 5, times 10 to the 5th seconds. Okay, that's technically the right answer. But let's not leave it at that. So I want to convert that to uh, at least hours. So here I have delta T is 1.7. Is that right? 3, enter. 1.74 divided by, okay. Uh, one point, as a square, because it's close to that. 1.72 times 10 to the fifth seconds, and I want to convert that to minutes. 
and hours. So if I know that there is, uh, in one minute, there are 60 seconds. So I'm multiplying it by the quantity one, so I'm not really changing anything, right? This is multiplying by one, because that one minute is 60 seconds. And I can do the same thing, uh, one hour is 60 minutes. So here the seconds cancel, the minutes cancel, and I can get the time in hours. If we need, we can convert to days. So I have 1.72 times 10 to the fifth, and then 60 times 60 is 3,600. So 3,600 divided by. I get, oh, 47. 47.8 hours. And if you want, you can divide that by 24. That's, that's almost two days. Two days. It's almost exactly two days. I knew that. Everyone knows 40 hours, two days. So there you go. It's a realistic problem. I mean, that's a realistic light bulb, not super high power. I mean, a one, one watt, two watt light bulb is not super, super bright, but it would last a long time. In fact, what would happen is uh, this internal resistance increases as time goes on for dead or batteries, so you get lower and lower currents, which actually makes it last longer, but not as bright. And you probably won't drain the battery all the way because it just stopped glowing. At a certain point, there'll be current running through it, but won't be glowing. The end. That was a fun problem.